Hello friends, today we're going to check these smart plugs. Welcome to this new video. So today we're going to check these different smart plugs. Uh, we'll check the prices, the boxes, the installation. There are two different HomeKit smart plugs and there are two different Matter smart plugs. Now the first we're going to check in was the first was the quickest shipped and it's also the cheapest in our test and it's the cozy life smart plug that works by wi-fi you can see amazon alexa google assistant and this is also the home kit version we have the user manual with the home kit code again And then the smart plug itself. Again, you can see the home kit code directly on top of it. Now this smart plug cost between six and 12 euros per plug, plus the shipping cost, which varies between two and three euros. It's sold on AliExpress by unit but you have a reduction when you buy four plugs in a bundle. I will share the link to this product in the video description. So the brand of the smart plug is Do It AM. It is rated 16 amp max, so you can use it for air coast boilers as well. It works by the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi protocol and you can control it with HomeKit or the dedicated Cozy Life application but it is also compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, Yandex LS. So this plug is straightforward, very low budget. And if you want a version with power monitoring, you can also buy it, but it costs 16 euros per smart plug. Then we have the other Wi-Fi smart plug in this test. It's the Mirrors smart plug. You can see here that is a two pack with the home kit code again. And compared to the Cozy Life, you can see that it is a bit smaller. Now for the specs, this pack only comes by two plugs and costs 28 euros. So that comes about 14 euros a plug, but there's free shipping. It is only sold in bundles, so two pieces or four pieces. I will share the link in the video description. The official name of this smart plug is the MS 110 Europe, as I have the Europe version. It is, it is rated 10 amp, but there's also a 16 amp version available if you need it for airco or boilers. It works by Wi-Fi protocol, 2.4 gigahertz, and it works with the HomeKit app or the Mirrors app. It is also compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So this smart plug is straightforward, quite reliable as all the Mirrors products, and it's a go for solution if you are already in the Mirrors ecosystem. So I have a lot of mirrors devices in my house, so it would be quite logic to add smart plugs to have them also exposed into this same application. Now the matter plugs. First we look into this mirrors matter plug. So there's a little explanation about matter. Here again, the quick starter guide. 
Now for this Miros Smart Look Matter, it costs 33 euros for two plugs. So it comes only by two plugs, but that makes it 16 euros a plug and also free shipping. Therefore it's only two euros more expensive than the Wi-Fi plug. So as I said, it is sold only in bundles of two. You can find the link in the video description. It is rated for 10 amps max. It is a matter over Wi-Fi, so you still need your 2.4 gigahertz network. And it has energy monitoring within the Mirrors application. You can control it with HomeKit and the Mirrors app, but it is also compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So it is an affordable matter solution and it gives a handy power in users inside. And then we take a look at this EVE Energy power plug. As always, the boxing shows them directly the great quality. But it is also one of the most expensive plugs in this test. HomeKit code, manual, and there's the plug itself. Well protected HomeKit code, little LED light, the branding. It is sold at the Eve Home shop for $39.95 per plug plus shipping which is about seven to nine euros to Europe. It's only sold by unit. So for a little bit over 40 euros, you have your EVE Energy. You can check the link in the video description. It is rated at 10 amps maximum. This is the only smart plug in the test with matter over thread. So you don't need Wi-Fi at all. So it is more expensive, but you don't use Wi-Fi with all the benefits of the matter over thread connection. It is a router node, so the plug enhances your stability and reach of your own thread network. So another pro for this plug. As always, Eve is really all about protecting your privacy, so no data is collected from your home setup and the usage of the plug. There's no EVE Cloud, there's no registration needed. Within the EVE Home app, you can monitor your energy consumption and your usage details. It has an adjustable status light, so that's really nice that you can also opt to turn this one off. So the status light is also the button and there's a child lock possibility. The control is in the HomeKit app or the EVE Home app. It is also compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant and SmartThings. So my conclusion for the smart plug is that it is very complete, reliable, nice options and you have a real thread over matter solution. But it is one of the most expensive smart plugs. Now for the first part of the test and the comparison, we are going to add these four smart plugs to my home environment in a new virtual room. So let's first create a new room. And there it is. Now the room is created. We can plug in all the smart plugs. It's a cozy light smart plug. And here is the mirrors Wi-Fi smart plug. Here is the mirrors matter smart plug. And here is the Eve smart plug. 
So now they're all powered, I can add them to my new test room. So let's start with the Cozy Life Smart Plug. And we go to add an accessory. So here you can see already that the name isn't really the Cozy Life Smart Plug. And here it is called Cozy Life Smart Plug. So let's rename it here anyway. Cozy. And there you go. Now let's add the mirrors Wi-Fi smart plug. Let me just block the other HomeKit code. And there it is. Smart Wi-Fi plug mini. So let's rename that as well. I'm not sure why it is still checking its status. So let's check the details. And there it is live as well. Installation guide, mirrors advice to use the mirrors app to add the devices to the environment. So let's do so now. So let's go to the mirrors application that I already installed up front. You can see that I already have a lot of mirrors devices. And here it is directly showing a smart plug that is not connected in this network. So smart plug, then choose the correct one. This one is called the MSS315. So that is this one. So the LED light is blinking. So I want a matter version. And I can scan the matter code. I will add it to my new room.
and you can he see here that it added the Wi-Fi smart plug and it added the matter plug as well. Let's update all the software as well. So you hear that it turned on and off because it is updating the software. And now you see that it finally synced up also with my test room. If I go to the Eve application, accessories, add a new device. We scan the code and there you go. And you see that it is directly added to my home kit as well. It shows directly in the Eve application all my other smart plugs as well. They're all activated. Now the first conclusion after installation is that Wi-Fi plugs could be added directly with HomeKit, whether the Matter plugs had to be connected to the dedicated app. Compare the, those all four together, you can see that the sizes are quite different, where the Mini is low but quite wide, and it takes up the space beside it as well. So not ideal if you have multiple plugs inserted. And here we have the Cozy Life, which is a little bit more bulky, but doesn't take up all the place just beside. And it can be used therefore with normal plugs just next to it. The Mirrors Matter plug almost has the same size as the Cozy Life and the Eve plug is again a little bit more bulky. They all four have status lights. Cozy Life and the Mirrors Matter have them on their on and off button. As you can see here, the green and blue light. The Mirrors Mini has it just on top and the Eve has it on the side. So they all have physical control buttons as well. So it's on the side of all of them with big clear visual buttons. For the three plugs and this little small button for the Eve energy. Now we're going to overview every plug in the dedicated app, see the options that we have there, and then we will perform testings within the HomeKit app and we will perform testing within the dedicated apps as well. Now I've set it up the smart plugs a little bit differently in order to see all the status lights. So here I have the Cozy Life smart plug. Here we have the Mirrors Matter over Wi-Fi with the status light. The Eve Energy, which is Matter over Thread with the status light. And here we have the Mirrors Mini with the status light over there, which is over Wi-Fi. So now let's check every smart plug itself in its own application to check the settings. A little disclaimer, I uh, let the language of every application on the original language so you can see how that works out but I will explain every function of course so I've downloaded the Cozy Life application that you can see here now I already have one smart plug that I use for almost one year now 
that is ready here but I can show you how to add new devices so you go to your profile then you go to home kit and here you see all the devices that it sees within your home kit environment now here you can see that my new smart plug is grayed out I try to add it again by scanning the home kit code right in here and it says that it is already added so I can't make it work, I can't refresh, but nothing happens. So I guess the only way to make it visible will be to delete it again from the HomeKit environment and add it again right here. But the settings are exactly the same as in my other smart plug, so I will show it right here. Another thing that is quite strange is that the icons are different although you can see I have multiple Goza Live devices this is also a smart plug but it shows another icon where here it is it isn't a smart plug and it shows the same icon as a smart plug so that isn't really consistent now when we check the smart plug itself I see a lot of translations errors, but it is feasible. So here we have more. I can set a counter or a timer. I can use the smart plug to turn it on or off. It is just in my living room and I heard that it connects and disconnects. Here I can see when when it was used, so it's kind of a logbook, the turn on mode, so that is whenever you lose your current and it switches back on, what should the smart plug do? So from default it is the last known status, but you can also put it on always off or always on. Then you have your LED light, so you can Choose if it will be ever bright, it's always on, if it will be only on when the smart plug is on or always off. And then you have a curb protection. You can also see your power consumption right here. And over here you can change the name of the device see some device information so now let's switch to the mirrors mini i go to the mirrors application i see my smart plugs so here's the mini i can change the icon i can change the name i can choose if i want to turn on or off the status light i have the manual but that just refers to the website of mirrors. Well, then I have my time zone, the time of the device itself, location are just coordinates. You have your home kit's setup code, so you can even remove it from the smart plug if you would like to, because you always can retrieve it right here. So that's quite a nice feature of mirrors. Your Wi-Fi signal, your SSID, so that your Wi-Fi network and the model and firmware version. So this one doesn't have a lot of options, but it is also the, the cheaper version. Now let's directly switch to the mirrors matter smart plug that I have right over here. And here you can see that I have a lot more options. So here's my current consumption. So day, week, month and year. It shows my consumption in kilowatt hours. Here I can see almost the same menu options as for the smart plug mini, which is logical. So I can change the icon, the name. I can choose if I want to turn on or off the status light, the user manual. So here I have notification options, so system notification. So I guess that is for some kind of error message. And here's standby killer. So the translation is a little bit odd, but 
that means that you can turn on an option where the smart plug will turn completely off a device when the power consumption reaches a certain below power consumption so like you plug in a television when you turn on the television to avoid that it goes in standby mode then you can completely turn it off so, so let's turn that one off okay then we have the power consumption so here i can set my what i pay for my power and my Veluta. Here I can export my electricity. I can erase if I want to. So this option is if you have solar panels installed. Standby killer again and these are the same options as for the smart plug mini. And now the EVE energy over matter so let's go to the eve application now we go to the test room and go to the eve energy so you can see that it's turned on so within the eve application itself you can already set programs so it is really nice so for instance if i want to connect it to my fish tank i can set my program right here and i see the actual power consumption and I can see my consumption that is estimated. So, so this is by year, but I can also set it by week or by day or even by minute. Then how much I will probably have to pay with the consumption. And I have this nice little graph where you can see your power consumption as well. And the total cost that it already used. Now when we go to the settings, I can see the room that it is in, I can set the type and name. So here I can set the LED light setting, this always off, like this. I can also set to put it on only when the smart plug is on or set it on when the smart plug is off and here I can even choose if I want a normal bright or light led light so the difference isn't that clear but it is nice to be able to play with the brightness of the led light I can also set a child protection so to avoid that children Activated by accident. Now Eve Energy shows your consumption and calculates how much you should pay. But of course you have to be able to set how much your energy costs. Therefore you have to go to your profile, go to general and there you have your energy costs. So when I click here I can set my price. So it knows that I live in Belgium. And it says that the average price there is 20 euro cents per kilowatt but i've checked it and i have day and night and my day there is like 11 cents and night 9 cents so the average price is 10 euro cents per kilowatt and i go back and there i have my new cost set it so there you go Conclusion, the Cozy Life is really straightforward. The Cozy Life application has a lot of translation errors, but it is usable. The Meros Mini has a great application, but the functions are really limited. The EVE Energy and the Meros Matter plug have both those energy options. They have a lot of other settings, but the in my honest opinion, the EVE Energy has the, the most beautiful application. The application has the most functionality and it's really nice to use. 
So now let's test the Cozy Life smart plug in the application itself. You can see the smart plug here and here. So it reacts straight away in HomeKit. It comes on a little bit later that due to the synchronization. Now let's test the same thing for the mirrors plugs. So let's test the mini. It reacts straight away as well, but the synchronization with HomeKit is almost directly as well. Now let's test the other mirror smart plug that comes over Matter. It's a little bit slower than the Mini, but the difference isn't that much. Now let's try the Eve. Now for the next step in this test, I'm going to create a scene. And here I'm going to add the four smart plugs to turn them on. I'm going to create the same scene to turn them off. And now when I go to scenes, we could test how quick all those smart plugs react. So therefore, we have to carefully watch all the status lights. We can see it right here, so I keep my hand over there as well. So let's go to scenes. Test off. So that was quick. Now test on again. So I would say that the Cozy Life is the quickest one, then the Eve, and then the both mirrors. You can see that the mirrors matter over Wi Fi is the slowest one to react. Yes, that's exactly the order. So Cozy Life, Eve, Mirrors Mini and the Mirrors Matter. But still the reaction time is within milliseconds. Now let's try it with Siri as well. Now I had to rename my scenes as series in French and I didn't recognize my new scenes. Now let's try to control the smart plugs with Siri. This say, allume la scène, test prise 1. Très bien. This say, allume la scène, test plugs 2. Très bien. Now you can see that the speed is almost the same by using Siri or controlling the scene manually. So overall, I think they work quite similar. The reaction speed is quite similar as well. Amazing that the cheapest one of the tests is also the quickest one to react to HomeKit commands. The application though is uh, quite fiddly, but that is something that I see for more of the products of the same brand. But for only six euros, you already have a smart plug that really works well. I use one for several months now and I only had to reset it once, I think. So for the price, that is quite a good solution. Then with the mirrors, 
smart plug over matter it looks really nice but with 16 euros it isn't the cheapest and it is also one of the slowest in this test but you have the power consumption follow-up so if that's important for you for half of the price of the EVE energy you have a smart plug which allows you to follow up your power consumption then you had the MERS mini I think that is one of the best surprises of the test for 14 euros only you have a really quick smart plug but it goes over Wi-Fi and it takes up quite some place in white but I think it is quite a good solution for the best price and then the EVE Energy the application is really great the power consumption follow-up options are superb but it is the most expensive one but it is also one of the quickest one so let me know in the comments what you think about these smart plugs or if you use other brands that are really cool. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.